Facebook and Instagram share their best practices uh, today at the Ondi XP, uh, the festival for content creators that has been uh, organized by uh, Dubai Media City. So one aspect is on Instagram, there's a large format, which is four by five as an aspect ratio. It fills in a nice part of the screen. I remember the first time I came across it vividly was when I, I was walking into, I was in Abu Dhabi walking into the Guns N' Roses concert and I was going through my Instagram feed to see the content around me and I saw this very nice picture, big size. I immediately took a screenshot of it, sent it to, uh, to my team to look at what are the dimensions are to, to create more and more, uh, more of that content. Um, uh, for, for the customers we help. In terms of sharing stories on Instagram, um, Samir was recommending uh, five to eight stories per experience. So looking at your day, having five to eight uh, stories that are, part, that are part of your day. Of course, you can go more or less, uh, but there are some, some uh, content creators that I see, they have uh, 30, 40, 50 stories in one day. It becomes a little bit tedious for that uh, IGTV uh, uh, makes more sense. So the video version of uh, Instagram where you can have longer video uh, feeds for that, uh, that would be more relevant if you want to put in your 30 or 40 stories. Uh, and then if you end up, do make, end up making those IGTVs, you can post one minute of that uh, in your feed and then people can click on keep watching. One minute is ample because a lot of us drop way before the one minute mark. So if we don't like the video, Usually uh, below 30 seconds, we're done. We move on to something else. And if we like it, we're going to go through it. We're going to click on keep watching. It will open up the full video with an IGTV. The Instagram likes are going away. Uh, that uh, addresses mostly the insecurities that we all have about, I posted the video, I only have two views, uh, and or I don't have enough likes on my uh, on my page. So we all have uh, on my page or on my on the post. We all have those insecurities. So with the Instagram hiding those likes, uh, the part uh, the trigger is to have people more confident to post more and to get them to post more and more content to build that habit until they have they are they're much more comfortable uh, broadening their distribution. So it's coming. It's not here yet uh, uh, for uh, all of the countries, but it's but it's coming. Instagram music is also coming uh, to the Middle East. It's a part where we, when you're listening to a song and uh, you want to share that song so you can hear that preview. So uh, I, I would use that a lot when, it, when, uh, when that comes out because a lot of what I do is uh, when I'm working and I'm focusing on work, uh, I put some music and then I like that tune and I want to share that with, uh, uh, with the rest of the community. So that's an easier way for me than to just you know, record the video and share that. From the Facebook watch perspective, if you're looking at that on the app or the desktop, you get to see there's a long, long form videos that are being uh, on Facebook watch and more, more of that is being consumed. Um, so for your video to qualify for Facebook, Facebook watch, it needs to be more than three minutes. And uh, after that, uh, it's available to the people who follow you on Facebook, follow whether they're ad friend or follow or like page. And then if that video is getting a lot of traction, traction measured by views, comments, and shares, and you can influence that by, uh, by, paid, uh, by pay ads, pay, paid, paid ads for that. After that, Facebook would look at potentially widening that reach for Facebook Watch. And also if you're using the Creator Studio, if you upload things there, uh, using the Creator Studio. Creator Studio is, is, is a web interface for uploading content. It's a, it's a tool that Facebook released for content creators who uh, have teams or they have, they, use, they have a full video setup at home and they want to upload easily versus from their phone. It's an easier way to do that. You can select, send this out to Facebook Watch or, or don't. Use of hashtags, three to five hashtags. Uh, that was a recommendation. Um, as well as geolocation and stickers and things like this. So those tend to be uh, ranked better and they're more engaging to your audience. Uh, one thing I liked is uh, that they refer to them as Instagram surfaces. So the surface for them is if it's a post or a video or an IGTV video or a story. So those are the four surfaces of, of Instagram. So uh, I like that reference because we're on our phone and we're touching. So yes, yes, I understand the surface and the logic of it.